News Rescue The Online Publishers Association of Nigeria, APA, is insisting on freedom of the press in Nigeria and demands the immediate release of Timothy, Tim, Ilamba, the detained journalist and editor of United Kingdom, UK, based online news platform, Ilamba.com by Nigeria's Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ibrahim Idris. Tim has been held for the 11th day now since his arrest alongside his brother Daniel Ilamba, a UK-based lawyer and publisher of Ilamba.com, in the wee hours of New Year Day in their family home in Yui, Ambra State on the orders of IGP Ibrahim in a gestapo operation by about 15 officers of the Federal Police Specialty Robbery Squad, SARS. Despite an order by a magistrate court in Mpape, Abuja, on Tuesday, January 2, 2018 to keep Timothy in police custody for seven days to allow them carry out further investigation as requested by them, with an order to bring him back to the court on January 9, 2018, the IGP and police have refused to do so instead, they have continued to incarcerate Timothy for no just cause. The police say they are holding Timothy because Ilambar.com published an opinion piece titled, IGP Ibrahim Idris's unending baggage of controversies that they argue defamed the IGP and the police force. The said article was written by one Ebao E.I. Dixon and it was widely published on multiple websites. We do not understand how a civil case of defamation turned into a criminal case in Nigeria where the IGP is both the accuser and defender in his own case. In civilized nations, what the IGP and the police force would have done is to sue and allow the court do its job. A recent book titled Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House, was authored by Michael Wolff which questions President Donald Trump's fitness for office and yet the American presidency never sent the Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI, or the police after the author despite their claim that the book is full of lies. We view this action by the IGP who's an employee of President Muhammad Buhari as the voice of Jacob but the hands of Esau. The continuous detention of Timothy Ilambar and harassment of Daniel Ilambar by the Federal government is simply an attempt to muzzle the press ahead of 2019 and the arrest of the Ilambar brothers is testing the waters ahead of the election. We will not fret or be cowed. We call on the international community and media houses to call Bahari and the All Progressive Congress, APC, to order and stop the intimidation of the online press in Nigeria. This action by the IGP is the smuggling in of Decree 34 which Bahari as a military head of state promulgated into the country using cybercrime as the new name. We make bold to say that as Nigeria's foremost online publishers association, we will not watch Bahari bring the press to disrepute and ridicule through this Internet Age Decree 34. APAR is calling on President Muhammadu Bahari's administration to ensure a society where there is absolute freedom of the press and to stop the use of security agencies to intimidate and harass journalists in any form. The free press is here to stay.